Hi, I'm Abigail Hong. And I'm Tiffany Lee, and we're your anchors for your weekly Bullseye broadcast. First off, Kobe Bryant, the Los Angeles Lakers basketball legend, died this past Sunday in a helicopter crash. Gianna Bryant's daughter, John Altobelli, the Orange Coast College baseball coach, and his daughters Carrie and Alyssa, along with Christina Mauser, Ara Zavayan, and Sarah and Peyton Chester, were the eight other passengers who also lost their lives in the crash. It occurred just before 10 a.m. near Calabasas. It was a foggy day when the pilot crashed the helicopter into a hillside. Many fans across the world have paid tribute to him through actions ranging from people in the Philippines, painting a mural of him and his daughter, to Neymar holding up the number 24, Bryant's last jersey number, after scoring a goal. Next on the agenda is the panic causing coronavirus, a virus that originated from Wuhan, China. So far, it has spread to the United States, Canada, France, Germany, Australia, South Korea, and many other countries. As of Thursday, there have been 171 deaths, with around 8,288 people affected. According to the CDC, common symptoms of this epidemic consist of a running nose, headache, cough, sore throat, fever, and fatigue. As of now, there is no cure for the virus, but the mortality rate is only about 2%. With the fear of catching the virus, many people have begun to wear masks around. However, this is not very effective as the masks are meant to filter what leaves a person's mouth rather than filter what may come in. Some are taking it to the extreme, extreme by also wearing plastic containers and bags over their heads to protect themselves. Moving on to arts and entertainment, the 62nd Annual Grammy Awards took place on Sunday at the Staples Center in LA. It was hosted by singer and songwriter Alicia Keys, along with performances from many other stars, including the Jonas Brothers, Ariana Grande, Lizzo, and Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish walked out of the event with five Grammys, including what are known as the Big Four, them being the Best Album of the Year, Best Record of the Year, Best Song of the Year, Best New Artist, and Best Pop Vocal Album. She is the second person in history to win all of the Big Four, as well as the first woman to do so. Super Bowl 54 will take place this Sunday between the San Francisco 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida. Jennifer Lopez and Shakira will perform in the Pepsi Super Bowl 54 hat trick show. As of May 2021, the AP program will be discontinuing the National AP Scholar Awards that encourage students to take an immense amount of AP exams. The awards that are to be discontinued are the State AP Scholar, DU DEA AP Scholar, and International AP Scholar Awards. Finally, coming a little closer to home, DBHS's own news. Some students may have noticed that the cafeteria has started implementing student ID scanners to accelerate the lunch lines. However, there is a controversy with the school's disabling of comments on the post about the scanners on Instagram through a Facebook page called DBHS Confessions. It is unknown how the student body is to take this action. This Tuesday, DBHS welcomed guest speaker Scott Bakovich as a special treat for our annual kindness week. He spoke in an assembly telling stories about his past experiences with kindness. He then asked students to think about how we can be kind to others every day by sparing eight seconds of our lives. That's it for this week. Thanks for tuning in, Brahmas.